Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'll teach you how to export GradeView data to Word document in ASP.NET. Before moving ahead, I would like to request you to please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon. This is my web.config file and this is my connection string. I am connecting to the Northwind database. On the right hand side, you will see a link to the video which explains how to download and install the Northwind database. So let's start. We'll start by adding a grid view control. Now I'm adding some colors to the grid view. I'll be using some properties of the grid view like row style back color and alternate row style back color. I'll be implementing paging in grid view. Hence, I'm setting allow paging property to true. Now I'm adding some columns to the grid view. I'll be adding three bound field columns. I'm making use of the customers table of the Northwind database. The three columns will be contact name, city and country. Now the grid view is ready. Let's move to the code behind. We'll start by adding the namespaces. System.io. This will be required for exporting the grid view to Word document. System.data. As I am making use of data table. System.drawing. This will be required for colors in the grid view. System.data.sql client. I am making use of ad.net. System.configuration. This will be used for fetching the connection string from the web.config file. Now I am creating a method bind grid for more details on populating the grid view and paging in grid view. Please click on the link which is shown on the right hand side of this video. So the grid view population part is completed. So let's run the code and check it. As you can see, the paging is working properly. Now let's move to the next part, which is exporting grid view to Word document. We'll start by adding a button. This button when clicked will export the grid view with formatting to Word document.
Now let's move to the code behind. Here I am defining the event handler for the button. Red view will be exported to Word document in HTML format. So this will be done using the response class. So first I am clearing the response. Then I am setting the buffer property to true. Now I am adding an header to the response. This header is called content disposition. It is used to tell the browser that the downloading file is an attachment and also it allows us to set the file name for the exported file. Specifying an attachment tells the browser that uh, the file must be saved on the computer. That means user will get an option to open the file or save the file. While if you don't do that, then the file will be automatically opened in the browser. Next I am setting the content type property of the response class. It is used to notify the browser about the file type. For example, in current case, it is a word file. Now let's say you click on the open button. Then it will automatically open the file in word application. In case it is installed on the computer. Next, I have created an object of string writer class. And then an object of HTML text writer class. Both these classes are used to render the grid view as HTML. That means the grid view is converted into an HTML table. And then the HTML table is written to the browser using the response class. Now, since we have to export the whole grid view and there is no facility of paging inside word document. I have set the allow paging property to false. And since we have specified the file as word document, it is downloaded as an word file. So here a question arises, how an HTML table is converted into word document. So this is actually a trick. We are not actually creating word file. We are actually exporting the HTML table, but putting it into Word document means the HTML table is put into Word document and the Word file displays it. That's all. Now the next thing is to apply formatting to the grid view so that we can export the grid view with formatting into Word document. Now using the render control method, I have rendered the grid view as an HTML table. Finally, the grid view HTML is returned to the response and the response.flush method is called. And finally, the response is ended.
So this completes the download part. Now I'm adding an additional empty event handler, which is required to avoid an error, which comes when you render a control. In this case, it is a grid view without a form tag. So our coding part is complete. Now I'm assigning an on-click event handler to the button. Let's run the code and check it. Now I'm clicking on the button and the browser is showing option to open the file or save the file. You can see the grid view has been exported to Word document with formatting. So with this, we come to the end of this video. The links for the source code and demo are available in the description. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon. See you soon.